hello students in this video we are going to learn our next chapter visualizing solid shapes plane figures first let us learn about plane figures so it's two dimensional shape the figures which can we can draw on a flat surface are called plane figures they have two dimensions that is length and breadth hence these are called two dimensional shapes okay so in simpler words if i want to say it is like the figures which we can draw on a flat surface okay so for example you can see triangle square circle so all these are two dimensional why because they have only length and breadth and they are on they can be drawn on a uh, piece of paper three dimensional shape that is solid figures the figures which have three dimensions that is length breadth and height are called three dimensional shape they occupy some space like ball box tube etc okay so these are having three dimensions not only length and breadth but also height they have okay so examples are shown in figure now in the three dimensional figures you need to know some terms so what all that we will see here faces all the flat surfaces of the 3d figure are the faces of that shape the faces of 3d shapes are made by the 2d shapes okay so if you see in this figure you can see clearly so that square shape is one of the face okay so one square and next one more square like that like six different squares are joined it together to form a cube okay so what you see in the figure it's a cube so it is formed by six different squares then edges the line segment where the shapes faces of the 3d shape meet with each other or the edges of the shape so you can see their red color line okay in that figure you have you can see a red color line so that line that is Uh, denoting the edge where the two faces come and meet then vertices the corner or the point where the edges meet with each other are the vertices of 3d shapes the singular form of vertices is vertex okay so you have um, uh, so many vert vertex so in plural it is vertices okay so where all the edges meet together that single point is called vertex so number of faces edge and vertices in some common 3d shapes so here you can see the shapes and the uh, number of face edge and uh, vertex okay so cube means six face 12 edges and eight vertices so you have uh, shapes like cube cuboid cone sphere cylinder square based pyramid okay so all these are the commonly known 3d shapes the nets for building 3d shapes if we draw the structure of the 2d form and fold it to make a 3d shape then it is said to be the net of that figure different figures have a different type of nets we can open a 3d shape from its edge and get the net for that figure so uh, you just imagine a box okay so any cardboard box you imagine so that, that box you are going to uh, open it into a flat sheet of cardboard so that is called nets okay in the figure you can see how the cuboid is opened okay so there are so many different ways of opening into nets okay drawing solid Uh, solids on a flat surface 2d representation of 3d shapes how to draw on a piece of paper a 3d shape as you know that 3d shapes are the shapes which occupy some space but we can draw the 3d shape on the flat surface also by some techniques this is called a visual illusion so you are going to draw a 3d shape in a 2d surface okay so first one it is oblique sketches we can draw uh, when we draw a shape in such a way that we are not able to see some of the faces of the 3d shape and the size of the length is 
also not equal but we are able to recognize that this is a cube then this is called an oblique sketch so here in the diagram uh, it is represented how to draw the 3d shape in a 2d surface okay so first step is first we need to draw a square of 2 cross 2 on a uh, grid sheet okay so like this so the red, red color is there no so that is only a first square drawn then next draw the opposite face of the same of the same size which is offset of the front face okay so you can see in the diagram the first face is in front and the second the square you are drawing behind the first one okay so leaving one grid you are just drawing the next square now join the respective corners to form a cube so now you join the respective corners so that it looks like a 3d figure points to remember for the oblique sketch the front and the back faces are of the same size okay so the front and back face should be same size all the edges are appearing as of the same length but their measurements are different it looks like as if they are of same size but actually if you measure it it is different isometric sketches the isometric sheet is a sheet made up of dots which makes the equilateral triangles when we draw the shape on the isometric sheet with the measurements proportional to the original figure it is said to be isometric sketch so this is another method of drawing the uh, sketch visualizing solid objects when we see any 3d shape from one side then some of its parts are not visible to us but then also we can assume that which shape is it is it is called visualization okay we uh, we can see that the front top and side view of the image is completely different and we cannot see some of its faces then also we can say that this figure is made up of four cubes okay so in this diagram only it is explained by you don't know the actual measurements if you measure it is not going to be the measurements of the cube but still it looks like four cubes joined together okay so we are visualizing to it so that is called visualization so you have the top portion front portion and the side so in in three different views we can see it viewing different sections of a solid there are so many ways to see the different sections of the 3d shape viewing an object by cutting or slicing okay when we cut any 3d shape horizontally or vertically we get a 2d face of that figure this is called a cross section the shape of the cross section depends upon the type of cut like horizontal or vertical so when you cut and when you observe it is called cross section so in this figure you can see if we give a horizontal cut to a rectangular pyramid uh, then the cross section will be a rectangle in shape and if we cut it vertically then we get the shape of a triangle okay the same pyramid only but if you cut horizontally you will get rectangle and vertically you will get triangle viewing an object by its shadow if we throw the torch light on any 3d object then we will get the shadow of that object on the plane in the form of 2d shape the resultant shape depends upon the side of side of the object where we throw the light okay so this is one way of viewing so if you see here a cylinder is placed and one screen is placed okay if you if the light source is from one side or the opposite side of that screen so it shows you a circle here okay the cylinder is giving a shadow of a circle if we throw the light on the cylinder from its circular side then we will get the image of a circle when we throw the light of the on the cylinder when while it is on the standing position then 
its shadow will be rectangular in shape so if it is the cylinder is in standing position then you will get rectangle shadow viewing from different angles to get different views all the 3d objects have different views if, if we see them from different sides by seeing them from different angles we can observe them easily in the figure we will have a different top view front view and side view but we get the information about the shape of the figure by observing them okay so what you see from top view or what what you see from side view uh, that is not going to be the actual uh, uh, shape itself or the actual object itself okay so here the 3d figure it shows like uh, uh, so many cubes arranged but if you see the top view it looks like a l shape okay and in front uh, view it it shows like a square okay and side view it looks like a uh, u, uh, u shape okay so whatever view so from top view you can't come to a judgment that it is l shape or from the front view you can't to come to the judgment that it is square okay so we have to observe and then only we can find out the actual uh, shape of the object so that's all for this video thank you children